Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 2nd of 2022, well, it is titled a partial eclipse of an active sun. So what do we see here? Well, what we're going to watch is a very short video clip, highly compressed, and the video clip will only run about four seconds. So I'm going to put it on repeat here, and you're going to see it over and over again in a little bit as I discuss it. And that's because it's, it's only four seconds, so don't have enough time to really look at everything the first time you look through it. It actually covers about 10 minutes worth of uh, video of the sun compressed down to four seconds in this time lapse. Now we're going to look at a couple of different things here, including an eclipse, as well as a solar prominence. So let's go ahead and play this video and take a look. And the first thing you note is the big black disc on the right hand side slowly moving to the left and as it does that it is blocking out parts of the sun that is actually our moon so our moon moving directly in front of the sun and passing it out that is what we call a solar eclipse a solar eclipse occurs when our moon passes in front of our sun and blocks out its light now we can get a total solar eclipse when the moon passes completely in front of the sun or as with this one we can get a partial solar eclipse. A partial solar eclipse means that just a portion of the sun's surface is blocked. So here we can see that and as you watch the video clip you'll see the moon passing in front of our sun. Now the other thing we note is some of the activity on the sun and be right before the eclipse you can see a very large prominence uh, there off to the central slightly to the right side and this is material that has been lifted off of the surface of our sun. So our sun is a plasma an ionized gas and those materials can be lifted up by magnetic fields. So strong magnetic fields on the sun can lift that material up. And if you watch it closely, you will see that it is raining back down. So you can see it kind of falling back down onto the sun before the moon passes in front of it. And that is if it is lifted off with just enough velocity to lift it up into the uh, solar atmosphere, but not enough to be able to escape from the sun. So in general, we can uh, most objects will not reach escape velocity, but with enough energy, a high enough energy of a magnetic field could turn what we see as a prominence here into a solar flare, where that material is completely flung out at escape velocity and is able to escape from the sun and travel off into space. We see that as a uh, we'll see that here on Earth as charged particles that will cause aurora, that greenish glow that we sometimes see in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for November 2nd of 2022. It was titled A Partial Eclipse of an Active Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.